Hey guys, it's Lavender Kid Kitten here with a long waited review on Scalita Calaveras. First, let's take a look at her box. Um, she's part of the Scaris assortment, so it's a Scaris with the Eiffel Terror, I think that's what they call it, and the different swirly designs that kind of look like cobwebs, and it goes around the box, and it's purple, and it goes on the top, and you can see the Monster High crest, and the Monster High logo, and a cute artwork of Scalita. On the back, there are pictures of the other dolls in the line, which include Scalita, Claudine, Rochelle, Junifier, and Frankie, and then there's... A description of Scaris. Okay, and then here is her bio. It's a profile art of her. And then here you go, you can read it. Okay, so let's get on to the doll. Scalita is so awesome and detailed. Um, let's start with her face. She is white with details like a sugar skull. She has brown eyes with blue eyeshadow and then a lighter sky blue around with black dots and blue stars, say on the other side, a black nose, and cerise colored lipstick with black detailing like a skeleton. Her hair is black pulled up into a bump with orange highlights in the front that are twisted. That one's attached to her arm, and this one I tucked under there because I can't really get it to stay um, like that on its own. Her body is so cool. It is white on the top of the uh, arms, and unlike the Create a Monster skeleton, she is fully boned. Like right here, her hands are skeletons, and even this top part is bone with bony kneecaps, and then feet that look like bone. Well, that's a really cool detail. It makes her a very frail doll, so if you have Scalita, be very careful with her. She has on a black dress with gray leaf detailing and pink and purple ribbon going up. Over the dress is a beautifully detailed skirt with the Dia de los Muertos flags, and instead of having a straight hemline, they have drippage, and there are different patterns like flowers, what, um, cobwebs and their desks thrown all around and then they're in very vibrant colors like electric pink, blue, turquoise, red, orange. It's really awesome. She has on green and brown sandals that are very detailed. They have like little lines on it and then you can't really see it but on the back there are little flowers. Lastly to accessorize she wears an orange um, necklace with lots of lines and marigolds on it and a simple brown cuff bracelet. Like all the other Scaris dolls, she comes with a suitcase, and hers is very beautifully detailed. It is has a quilted pattern, and there are swirls, marigolds, a sugar skull, um, candles, and kind of like a lace pattern around the outside. And on the back, you can see that it's just a simple quilted pattern, and the handle actually looks like a vertebrae, which is kind of um, creepy, but so awesome. And like all the other suitcases, it can open, and there are little fake compartments right there. And I guess you could put some things in there, but when that's down, it limits the options even more. Let me show you. Yeah. She also comes with a sketchbook, and it is really awesome. It has some entries in it and some beautiful artwork. And then the back is just, I think it's a self-portrait of her. But whoever drew these pictures is an amazing artist. Lastly, like all the other dolls, um, she comes with a brush and a black stand. Okay, so here's an overview of Scalita. And she is probably one of the most detailed Monster High dolls I have ever seen or have. She is just truly amazing. And I probably give her 4.5 out of 5 Skelettes. The only thing that I do not like about her is that this curl really always comes undone. I tried gelling it with my own gel that I use. It didn't exactly work, so I kind of have to just tuck it under there at all times. And also, um, 
her joints, they're very stiff. I mean, they're getting better now that I'm playing with her even more. But the before, when I first got her, they were really stiff. And she's very frail. Just if you see her. She is so frail because she is bones. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching this review. I know it's probably short, but I've been trying to do that, make them more short than my other ones because they're kind of painful to watch. So, yeah, stay tuned for the other reviews. I'm going to be posting the ones on Howleen, Twyla, Jane, and Catastrophe, which I actually haven't got yet. I'm searching every target, so if you have any tips on how to find her, please tell me because I am seriously am out of luck. I cannot find her. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and bye! Uh, uh, hi, hi everyone! I'm Sclady Calaveras, and welcome to the first meeting of Homemade Club. Uh, I, ho I hope we'll all get along. Uh, do you think she's nervous? She's beyond terrified. Um, I have a question. Uh, uh, what is it? When the ring goes bling and the club goes ting, the bear talks locks. What did she just say? I thought you knew Riddleish.